Senator Wyden. Um, Dr. Conway, thanks for joining us. Just a couple of questions. We're, we're running well into the vote here, so I want to move quickly. Uh, I, I do want to go back to the scope issue because it is something that's uh, a concern raised by many of my constituents and by my uh, reading of the statute. Um, it's it, the Affordable Care Act states that CMMI has the authority to test a model addressing, and I quote, a defined population for which there are deficits in care, end quote. But this rule would change the terms of reimbursement for 75% of all docs who administer Part B drugs uh, under the ASP plus six approach, and every single drug that is subject to the ASP plus six reimbursement, as I understand it. How, how could that be consistent with the congressional intent of a defined population? It just seems almost universal, which is not the same as a defined population. How is it a defined population? Yes, yeah, so um, as you noted, the Innovation Center Authority is to propose tests of new payment and service delivery models. You know, here we defined a population based on geography. Um, we are looking at the comments now. Did we define, you know, this, the scope of that geography uh, is a key issue that we'll evaluate uh, the comments on. But just, just so I understand, yeah. it, it's true there are, as I understand it, right, there are these different subsets that will undergo different experiments. But almost everybody is involved in this broader experiment in some degree. So the current proposal has three arms and uh, therefore does have, uh, as you noted, 75% uh, approximately of the country in intervention arms. We will evaluate the comments and determine, uh, look at key issues around the number of arms or interventions in the study and the geographic scope and whether adjustments are needed. Well, yeah, I would just strongly urge you to focus on that particular issue. Um, I wasn't here when the Affordable Care Act was written, but I think a layman's reading of a defined population suggests something much narrower than what's contemplated here. A second question I have for you is goes to the, the, the purpose, as I understand at least one of the stated purposes, is to make sure there's no incentive to draw in some other alternative, which the current system seems to suggest. Uh, in its June report, MedPAC listed the 10 drugs with the highest Part B expenditures. Do you know how many of them had FDA-approved generic alternatives? I don't want to quote a number and be wrong, I, but that's not fine. all of them. Yeah, sure. the, the my understanding is the answer is zero. The answer is yep. zero among the top ten. And it strikes me that clearly it's not the payment model that drives the docs to prescribe the ten highest expenditure drugs. It's the fact that there's no alternative. Um, so if we were to make this change, is there a concern that that it could create an incentive for physicians to experiment with off-label use for, uh, for some purposes? Has, has, was that a the proposal uh, does not just focus on drugs where there are interchangeables. If so, for example, as you noted, interchangeable uh, to generic. You know, we're proposing to pay the average sales price, which is the average cost of the drug, uh, plus to an extra fee. Uh, we're going to look at the public comments to determine if there's adjustments that are needed in that formula, either overall or in certain settings. Uh, we, uh, so the goal is for both high-cost drugs and low-cost drugs that we are paying appropriately uh, for those drugs. The current system does have a disincentive that we've heard about from MedPAC and others on the low-cost drugs, where, you know, if that covers the cost of the physician or clinician prescribing said medication. So we're trying to remove the financial incentive but still pay appropriately for the provision of drugs that you named or other drugs. Once again, we would want the oncologist or other rheumatologists, physicians, clinicians to prescribe the medicine that they need, us to pay, and the physician or the patient to receive the medicine that they need. Thanks. 